This is one of our segments that we enjoy doing, and it's called. We do get some great calls on this show. Don't get me wrong, but we also get some horrible calls. Uh, they're entertaining calls. It's good radio, but you know, it's that's why we've started this segment called the worst call of the week, ladies and gentlemen. We need a jingle, Jason Stein, our producer. Put on your microphone. We need a jingle. Get, put your microphone on. Yeah. Your mic's not even on. I can't even hear you. All right, go ahead. Sean didn't, couldn't see me. There you go. Um, You're very small. We so don't have the budget uh, for that, Brian. I'm sorry. We, we, can't, uh, we can't get a jingle. Everybody's hurting right now. <laughs> we can't get a jingle. It's the worst call, the worst call nope. of the week. You can't, we can't get something like that? No. Nope. Uh, Everyone the, went home. That's unfortunate. Okay. Sorry about that. All right. Well, anyway, uh, this is uh, two calls, Jerry and Nelly. We're going to start with Jerry. Jerry decided to call into the show and talk about mail-in voting, and he is one of the two worst callers of the week. Uh, we're going to decide if he's the worst caller of the week. This is Jerry. Have a listen to this. Jerry is next on the Vegas Take. What's up, Jerry? Hey, what's up, Jerry? Hey, guys. What's going on? Hey, listen, <laughs> the mail ballot, I think it's uh, I think it's for the uh, Democrat for Donald Trump to win the election in 2020. That's why they're casting about the mail-in ballot. I'm sorry, I'm having trouble following you. Can you repeat that? I think it's got a lot to do with the Democrats are covering up for Donald Trump. The for Democrats, the Democrats are covering up for Donald Trump. That makes a lot of sense, sir. I'm sorry, I don't understand. Yeah, no, I'm saying is that's what they're they're preaching. So about. the Democrats they're... want Donald Trump to win. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, yeah, that's. Well, oh, that is. makes a lot of sense, Jerry. I appreciate the phone call. <laughs> <laughs> that's gonna be tough to beat. I'll tell you something. I. I've heard a lot of crazy things from Republicans that are Trump supporters. I ain't heard that one before. The Democrats want Donald Trump to win? Boy, that's, I tell you what, it's going to be hard to beat that, but let's try. We do get some bad calls you on this know. show. You never know. All right, let's go to Nelly. So not the rapper, Nelly. Uh, what was Nelly's uh, big hit song, by the way? It's hot, getting hot, hot in here, here, so take off all your clothes. Yeah. Also not, yeah. not Chris Wynn's roommate. Oh, yeah, Nelly. Chris Chris Wynn has a roommate. We're definitely not talking about that, Nelly. That would be Nilly, though. We call him oh, Nilly. This is Nelly. Nelly. All right, so Nelly called up to the show this week. Boy, it's going to be tough to beat Jerry. Oh, you know, I shouldn't say that because we're all entitled to our voting, how we want to do it. But uh, Nelly called in, and he tried to, you know, talk about black people and police. Have a listen to this call. Let's go to Nelly. Nelly, you're next up on the Vegas Take. What's up, Nelly? Hey, Nelly. Hi. You know what? Uh, I don't blame the policeman for being <laughs> rough to... Floyd, because majority of the policemen have bad experience with black people. Black people are always in trouble. <laughs> black I people are always in trouble. Uh, so, Nelly, so, you don't, you don't have a problem. He, you don't have a problem with an officer putting his knee on somebody's neck, even though that person is in is in constraints. You're saying that's okay with you? No, it's not okay. But what I'm well, saying well, you just said it was that, okay. Which one is it? Or is it no, okay or is it no, not? No, okay? What, what were you What were you I talking don't blame about? The policeman whoever did thing on his neck is because they have bad, he has probably bad experience with so black because people. somebody has a bad experience you know, with black people and, you're excusing what Chauvin did said, that's ignorant when you're walking down the street and you see this black guy or people people will judge you by the way you look you don't want to be people like will a judge you by the way you look hmm. <laughs> so basically <laughs> okay uh, so basically this woman is is Basically defending Officer Chauvin. I think, Am I wrong? I think J.D. agreed with her, actually. If I, I, I may be. I have to go back to the tape. I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't know about that. Uh, J.D.'s not here to defend himself, so we'll leave that one alone. But uh, she basically said black people are always in trouble. Um, hmm, I don't think Barack Obama was always in trouble. I think he lived a pretty good life, and he became the president of the United States. Um, you know, uh, uh, Dr. Carson, who I'm not a huge fan of, I don't think Carson was in a lot of trouble. He's in Donald Trump's administration. Pretty smart guy. I think there's a lot of black people in society that do not always get into trouble. Herman Cain? Well, Herman Cain got in a little bit of trouble. Uh, Herman Cain... Uh, may he rest in peace. Yeah, well, may he rest in peace, but Herman Cain uh, did it to himself, ladies and gentlemen, because he decided not to wear a mask. Herman Cain get into it, did get into trouble, and it's called being six feet underneath the ground, and I'm not trying to be funny about it, but Herman Cain kind of gets my blood boiling because he's a guy that was an anti-masker, now he's dead because he didn't wear a mask. Wasn't there some sexual stuff that's, with him, that's, too? That's what else I was going to yeah. say. I mean, he might have had some good pizza, but uh, Herman Cain uh, paid off a lot of women for alleged sexual assault. So uh, Herman Cain is one of those people that did get into some trouble. So maybe that's who she was talking about. Maybe that's who Nelly was talking about. Maybe she just assumed everybody is just like Herman Cain. I don't know. But anyway, we have to do a vote on this. It's something we do on this show every week. 
Uh, I'm the one who votes last, aren't I? Shouldn't I be the one to vote last? Because I'm just so important. I'm the king. It's King Shapiro. So You could be the deciding vote. All right. So let's start with uh, Jason Stein first. Uh, the two producers here, Jason Stein and Sean McCullough. Let's start with Stein, who both do a very excellent job, by the way. And I don't like giving compliments out because it makes me feel very uncomfortable uh, and it makes me feel insecure about myself. But with that being said, Jason Stein and Sean uh, work very hard and they do a very good job and have to deal with me every day, which is a very difficult thing to do. Well, Sean yeah. shows up on time and shows up every day, which is a huge thing in radio. Yeah. And I will also say this. Uh, I will also say this. Stein doesn't give Sean any grief. I know that some, you know, some shows and some mm. producers might give their second producer some grief uh, for no reason. You know, whatever reason that is, I don't know. But Stein is a good producer, and he doesn't do that to Sean. All right, we got two minutes, so let's vote. Stein, go ahead. Well, I mean, I, I think, you know, it's always hard, but Nelly— Well, that's a good thing, isn't it? Nelly has to get my vote, and that's because— Really? Yeah, because I think the first guy was just—he he may have been under the influence, or he may have even be— experienced some dementia yeah uh and i think he just misspoke and <laughs> talking like a true republican talking about joe biden <laughs> yeah i think he was just confused that's the impression right. i get whereas right. nelly sounded like she she was there was all there this is a tough and one just had a very one might say racist uh take so worst call of the week has to go right. to nelly that is a that is a fair take i didn't quite think of it that thoroughly uh, that that is very fair all right sean mccollum is our other producer here who does a fantastic job Sean, uh, putting on the air, I hope that's okay. Uh, Sean, uh, give me your opinion on this. What do you say? I agree with Stein. I'm going to make this short and sweet. It's got to go with Nellie. Um, my biggest thing with her is she has no facts to back that up. That's like saying, mm -hmm. and I'm not speaking for me, this is just an example, that you could have said to her, all women are bad drivers. So, you know, I mean, I, I go with Nellie. All right, Sean, turn your microphone off. That's enough for, for one day. Uh, all right. <laughs> all right. Uh, I can't believe I have to do this. I would love to say Jerry just to just. I think you're right, Stein. I think, and I think both of you guys are right. I think Jerry was probably just drunk and just kind of ignorant. But Nellie was more than just ignorant. She was a racist. And I think that's far worse. When you're dumb and you're a racist, I guess the two go hand in hand. Completely ignorant to what it is like to, to be a minority in this country and have to deal with racial injustice. So, Nellie, congratulations. You wow. win the, uh, unanimous. The, the, the unanimous vote uh, for a call of the week. Kind of like how it's going to be, uh, how Biden is going to get the unanimous vote, uh, the popular vote. I think that's going to be unanimous as well.